19 consecutive wins for Iowa State at Hilton Coliseum. This one, a 79 to 71 win against Baylor. Wasn't typical Iowa State fashion as they only made four three pointers in the game, but were 25 of 30 from the charity stripe. Will Clyburn putting in a double double of 28 and 10. Fred Hoiberg was very proud of the way his team finished off the game today. You have to find a way to grind out wins when your shot's not falling. Uh, I thought our overall awareness to Pierre Jackson was great tonight. Uh, you know, it started with Chris Babb. We wanted to put a little bigger, uh, more physical defender on him. And that kid's an unbelievable player. You know, he's the preseason player of the year in our conference. And, you know, I think that's, uh, that's, that's a pretty good choice. Uh, but I thought our overall awareness, helping off guys, uh, you know, we wanted to help off of Walton some. Uh, you know, even though he hit a few shots, you know, it got the ball out of Jackson's hands. And, and, and that's something that we wanted to do. Uh, but just to overall, you know, to out-rebound that team, like you said, with Melvin Edgem, the best rebound in the league, uh, only playing 14 minutes uh, is, is pretty strong effort. You know, we thought if we could win the battle on the glass that we could win this game. The Cyclones also got double-digit scoring from George Niang with 17 points and Tyrus McGee off the bench with 10. I just think we just have a bunch of guys here that are just willing to grind out wins no matter if it's someone scores 30 points or someone scores 4 points. We all want to win really bad and we just keep on grinding wins out. And, uh, and, and we, we found a way tonight. You know, they were switching some ball screens. We made some adjustments at uh, halftime, and we go out and score 48 in the second half. We just had better movement, uh, better motion. George finally took the lid off that thing uh, when he hit it, and then Will got hot. You know, and we just ran a lot of uh, really isolation type actions for Will uh, to either let him get shots or uh, for him to take Austin off the dribble. And I thought Will made excellent decisions. Uh, this is a part of basketball. Uh, your shots aren't always going to fall. So you got to try to get to the free throw line, try to get something inside, just game of basketball. Again, when your shot's not falling, you, you, you talk to your guys about attack, 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 attack. And, you know, they were, they were switching some ball screens, and, and I thought we did a good job taking advantage of the mismatch, either getting it into the post uh, or uh, driving it past their bigs that were switched out onto the guards. And, you know, it's stuff we work on. Uh, with uh, with mismatch situations, you know, we call call it beast to get into the post. We call it flat if we want the uh, uh, guard to go to work. And, and I thought our guys did a good job mixing that up tonight. And going in, we knew that they wanted to uh, crash the boards, and we just did a better job of boxing them out. And, and credit to Will, uh, it looks like he had a double double here, and he's just coming in, crashing, and, and getting those loose balls and and helping us win the rebound game. Uh, this was a huge game for us. Uh, you know, we felt that we should have won the other night against uh, Oklahoma State. You know, obviously had some tough things happen to us down the stretch, but uh, our guys battled back once again, and, and they've continued to do that. Or they continue to do that throughout this year. They've done it uh, in the past, coming off difficult losses, and uh, it's a resilient group. Quick turnaround for the Cyclones as they take on Oklahoma here at Hilton Coliseum on Monday at 6 o'clock. Reporting from Hilton Coliseum, Matt Van Winkle, Cyclone Fanatic.